Hey guys, welcome back to the second video of the series where I'm guiding you through all the necessary steps that you need to follow in order to install Windows 10 in any device using a USB pen drive. In the previous video, I taught you on how you can officially download the Windows 10 ISO file for free. So if you haven't seen the first video, check it out from the link in the description below. Now to those of you who don't know me, my name is Utsav and I create tech related videos that can be used by any common person to help himself out in their day to day life. So please consider subscribing to my channel and also hit the notification bell for a lot more useful videos like this. Now without wasting any further time, let's start this video. Since now we have the setup or ISO file of the Windows 10, we need to use it to create a bootable pen drive using which we can install Windows in our system. So in this video, I'll tell you on how you can create a bootable pen drive using an application called Rufus. In order to download it, head to this website. Link is in the description box below, so make sure to check it out. So this is the website from which we'll have to download Rufus, using which we can easily create a bootable pen drive. So head down here and click on the latest version to begin the download. Once the file is downloaded, just open it up. I have it here on my desktop. So once it opens up, you'll see this box appear. Now before I tell you what to do with these options, plug in your USB pen drive in your system and then format it with the file system being set to FAT32. Now make sure you're using a pen drive whose storage is more than 4GB since the Windows 10 ISO file is itself 5GB in size. So anything less than that would not work. Now once the format is complete, head back to the Rufus app. Now here you can see that under the device option, you'll find your pen drive's name. Now what you need to do is under the boot selection option, select disk or ISO image. Then click on select and locate the Windows 10 ISO file that we downloaded using my previous videos method. Then after selecting it, click open. Then we don't need to change anything apart from the partition screen. So if you click on it, you'll find two options, MBR and GPT. Here you need to be careful while selecting the option as if you'll select the wrong option, you won't be able to boot from the pen drive. So in order to find out which option you should select, just go to the search option down here and type disk management. And then open this option up. So once it opens up, you'll find your hard drive name down here. So just right click on it and then select properties. And here select volumes. And as you can see under the partition style option, it states that my hard drive is GPT. So following the same steps, you can easily find out the partition style of your system. Generally, in most of the devices, it's GPT, but there's no harm in cross-checking it. So now after finding out whether the partition scheme is MBR or GPT, we just need to click on start. And yes, if you want to change your pen drive's name, you can do it from here. I'll just name it as USB boot. So once it's all done, click on start and then click on OK. That's it. You'll have to wait for this process to finish and then you are done. And now you have a bootable USB pen drive which has the Windows 10 setup in it. Now the only thing that's left is installing Windows using this pen drive, which I'll show you guys on how to do in my next video. So this was it for today guys, I really hope that this video was helpful to you and if it was then make sure to leave the like button turned on, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel as I try to create very simple videos on topics that can help you out in your day to day life. And yes, do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one.